I don't want to be an icon. I want to be an idea. You know, I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibility. I want to represent magic that you're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be. You know, like there's a, there's a, a redemptive power. Make a choice. Like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to it wants to move and go oh, around man. stuff, you know. So for, for me, I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. One of my favorite books is the the alchemist, Paolo Coelho. I just believe that. I, I believe that I can create whatever I want to create. If I can put, put my head on it right, study it, learn the patterns, I feel very strongly that we are who we choose to be. Everybody has dreams. Nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. Like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You got to take your shot. It's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all. It's not going to be like that all the time. You got to do it alone and people will help you. And when you when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe nobody else is going to believe people come along because your belief is so insane that your belief is so strong that makes people be like, yo, this crazy ass. You don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick yeah. as perfectly as a brick can be laid. There will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's going to be laid better than this brick that I'm going to lay in this next 10 minutes. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. And soon you have a wall. Yeah. And I think psychologically, the advantage that that, that gives me over, over a lot of people that I I'm, have been in competition with in different situations is it's difficult to take the first step when you look how big yeah, exactly. the, the task is. The task is never huge to me. It's always yeah, me one brick. Me too. We, did, we didn't grow up with the sense that where we were was where we were going to be. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we were becoming yeah, right. something greater. I always remember my mother or, or father or grandmother would say, that's great, baby. You did a really good job with that. That's incredible. Congratulations. Try this next time. You know, it was always a, there was always a little bit Stretchy. more. Stretchy. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm motivated by fear. Fear. You know? Um, fear of what? Fear of fear. I hate being scared to do something. I hate that feeling of the feeling that I had before I had a meeting with Quincy Jones because it was really uh, Quincy Jones and a guy named uh, Benny Medina oh, I know. and Jeff Pollock came right. with the idea right. for the Fresh right. Prince right. of Bel-Air and I hated being scared.